Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwame Asha Allah. Koholoyim la. Yehawah, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem. Rekha HaKadash, double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone. Who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water to all the Akim. And Akhwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws and statutes and commandments of Yehawah, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. To the best of their ability. This is Yachanan Awaf just coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, let's get this first Thessalonians 5 and 17 real quick. It says, pray without ceasing. Real simple. Three words. Pray without ceasing. And that basically, it, it, you know, goes off into pray consistently, man. Pray without stopping. It's not like, you know, you're praying all damn day long. You know, you know you're know, mumbling. And, you know, you just all day, all day long, your lips are moving. But, you know, you should be... Praying to you, how about Shimei Avishai throughout the day for pretty much everything in a sense. I mean, you know, when it comes to decisions, being safe, uh, you know, coming out of your house, you know, um, keeping a hedge around you, praying for, you know, uh, a favor, you know, maybe a best deal on some gas or some food or, you know, uh, uh, you know, the perfect route, you know, to take, you know, all those different things, you know, praying for the family, little stuff like that. But praying without ceasing, man, you know, because the scripture talks about leaning not to our own understanding, but to acknowledge him in all of our ways that our steps to be ordered by um, by him. And that's um, roughly paraphrasing um, Proverbs three and five and verse six. And I just wanted to just touch on this lesson because it's a lucky I'm driving right now. So, you know, I'm kind of trying to hold the phone steady, but to just be on the lookout, too, as well. But um you know, I was speaking with my mom last night and I hadn't spoken with her in a while because every time I call, <laughs> I guess she's looking at my phone number like, you know what I'm saying? It's one of those bill collectors, you know, the, um, you know, I do got a kind of got a, a, a funny type of number like that. But I'm like, well, damn, I mean, you know, you um should have me in your contact so you will know exactly who was calling you. So I'm calling and I'm, you know, I, you know, I had like a couple of different numbers for her, but the last phone number that she actually gave me, I'm calling it. And so I see I got this phone actually that I'm on right now. It's not actually on. You know, I got it, you know, hooked to the Wi-Fi or the hotspot on my other phone. I like to use it because, you know, it's, it's kind of easier to do lessons on. It's, a, you know, a nice Android, but, I, I, you know, I haven't had it on in a while, but I just use it on the Wi-Fi at the house or I will use the hotspot on my, um, my other phone, my newer phone or whatever, you know, and just turn it on. And I'm still able to get work done on it. So, um, but it's actually, um, this is an older phone and it has Facebook on it. So, you know, I see her. I'm like, dang, that's that, that's mom's. <laughs> you know, so I, you know, go off into it because I'm never on there. You know, I don't get off into texting people and, um, you know, finding out what people are doing on it. I'm not into none of that shit. But I do be hearing notifications. But I seen her. You know, I left a quick message. <laughs> You know, like, you know, um, you know, call me. You know what I'm saying? So she was trying to call me from the Facebook. Um, I forgot that you can actually even call from Facebook on there like that. So, you know, I ended up calling her back from my um my main phone. And when I'm looking at it, you know, cause she left the number in the you know in the in the Facebook. So I typed the number in and then her contact pop up in my phone. I'm like, well shit, this is the same number I've been calling all the time. You know, so I finally get up with her. And she like, uh, well, I thought you, I thought you was a bill collector, and this, 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 and this. Some she was talking about anyway, and you know that's just some of the stuff that our people are going through. Cause she's in another state, you know. Um, my brothers and sisters are a lot closer to her, to her than I am, you know. They, you know, and one of my niece, you know, live with her or whatever, you know what I'm saying, helping her out and stuff like that as well. But you know, she got family around her. I'm pretty much kind of to myself in a whole another state and city and all but anyway she's you know going off into you know a lot of different stuff you know it's always the same thing because i you know i've told my mom about this truth because she's into the bible she reads the bible every day and stuff like that but the thing that i was trying to tell her was you know hey you have to pray in the right names i've said that to her multiple times and and last night might have been the last time that i probably would talk to her about it but i mean you know it's not like she'd be bucking up or fussing like that but i told her the name of you know you have to pray to the you know yahweh and the name of um his son yahweh shai i had told her that before and actually uh you know i actually typed it in a um a text message one time and sent it to her 
because she asked me basically you know so you know i done it and that way she can see it i kind of broke it down you know with the little hyphens in between where she can break it down in syllables you know so you know of course last night she was telling me uh i can't say that name i'm like but you know i'm thinking to myself like if it was anything else if it was anything else that you needed to do if it was anything else that you wanted say for instance if you got a job and that job required you to remember a couple of names you're going to remember those names because you want the job and you want to get paid and you're going to eat now here you go the, the the most important name in the world she just she just she just was like i you know i kind of was just like forget it you know what i'm saying because I, I see that it wasn't it wasn't gonna work out with her you know like that you know because she she wasn't she just wasn't you know there on it you know what i'm saying because i'm thinking like with well, dad these are you know i'm telling trying to tell you these are the most important names you're doing because she all you know she was telling me about she be praying and she was telling me about one of my aunties you know one of my aunties asked her like man do the lord get tired of you praying because i be praying so hard all the time you know that's when i told her this scripture right here i said well you know the scripture talks about praying without ceasing i said the reason why um neither one of you are getting no results is because y'all praying in the wrong name you know, I told her straight up, you know, uh, you know, white Jesus is idolatry. You got to get away from that name. The Lord is about to come and, 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 and torch people for for mainly one of the main things is that idolatry, man, that our people are into, man, white Jesus. But, you know, um, they live in, the, you know, good old South Alabama. One lives in Mississippi. My auntie lives in Mississippi, you know, and they were just, you know, I mean, I grew up with their mom and, and, and dad. So the grandparents rather on my mom's side so you know i know what it, what it was like to have to go to church every day because we went to church every day we didn't go to church just on sunday we went to church two times on sunday morning and afternoon and we went every day throughout the week you know especially when it was like little revivals it was kind of like a little church in the back of the house some bishop from louisiana or something like that but you know that was something that my, my grandmother was into you know, she kept the Sabbath, you know what I'm saying? She wore dresses, but she, you know, she still cooked pig feet and pork and all that crap. You know what I'm saying? So it was kind of like she had a zeal for God, but not according to knowledge. And that's pretty much about how she raised, the, um, you know, the children as well. You know, so, uh, you know, I always had a zeal for, for you know, Yahweh just didn't know that, you know, everything that I was being taught growing up was, you know, was false, man. You know what I'm saying? But you know that that that's a, that was my lot. The Lord took me through my lot, you know. And fortunately, you know, in, in, in this future, you know, He brought me through and, and brought me to the the real knowledge of this truth. And you know, I was just going off into. I just wanted to touch on a quick little lesson on praying and the importance of prayer in the right names, man. You have to call on Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. You can't be calling on no dang on Jesus Christ, man, because it's not gonna work for you. Matter of fact, it's just going to get you in a worse condition. And I was just listening to the um, the elder out in um, Chicago. And he was, um, you know, uh, ministering to a, a, a lady while he was at his job. I was like, OK, well, cool. At least he can, you know, he's somewhere where he can kick it like that. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, at my plantation, I wouldn't really get down like that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's mostly Esau anyway. But. You know, but he was, uh, you know, giving, you know, explaining the gospels to this this lady that was there, and um, he was going off into uh, the name of Yahweh Shai, and how um, initially it would have been Joshua. So why are they calling him Jesus? You know, that's if you go off into the um, the entomology and, and things of that nature of his name. But his name is Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew tongue. There was no letter J back then. So why why are they called why are they why don't they just say just straight plain Jesus, you know, in the Greek? Because you know, that's how it's in the Greek. But in the Hebrew his name would have been, you know, minus the letter J, Joshua. But in the Hebrew tongue it would have be um Yahushai, which means he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. And those names are highly, highly important, man. It's gonna be so many people when things hit the fan. It's gonna I, I I've been saying it. Most of the two thirds are gonna be Christians that's gonna be calling on white Jesus and they're gonna be getting torched, man. See, and we're praying to Yahweh about Shimmy Al-Bashad for mercy in his name, in his son's name, you know? So it's a beautiful thing, man, that he called us into this truth. So you know, you know, don't take it lightly. Pray without ceasing, man. Pray without ceasing. 
you have to realize, you know, just think that every single element that's around you, he created. So he can feed you. He can clothe you. He can house you. You know, your daily bread, your daily needs. He's going to provide those things, man. He's going to provide those things. Our, you know, our, you know, our father is not some, some, some nigga that left the house and he's, you know, some drunk on the street, man. You know, our father is a real provider. And he's a real um, um, disciplinary too. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and and what happened to um, Israel, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, or Yashal in the Hebrew tongue? Hey, man, hey, we 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 got some real discipline, real ass whooping. That's what we're under right now. So the Lord is calling us back, and the only way that we can come back is by calling on the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. And it's really a shame that um. You know, um, groups like um, camps like IUIC won't teach the name of, and 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 Bishop Nate he knows the name because I seen a real, he he broke down the name so cold, with an old old lesson. I don't know the lesson looked like it was it was in black and white, um, looked like but you know like about thirty years ago. But he he broke down the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Now all of a sudden it, you know, it it makes him cringe to say the names. So that you know to us says that okay well he he. he he done took the bag, man. He done sold out, you know? Because, you know, it was kind of like, you know, I was, it was a little disappointing kicking it with my mom last night, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm telling her the names. I'm like, you know, our brothers were like, just say ya, ha, wa. You can't say ya, ha, wa. Ya, ha, wa, shy. You know what I'm saying? It like that. You know? You can't say that. She couldn't even repeat it. She she wouldn't even repeat it. She's like, oh, I don't know, you know, I don't know them names. That it just sounds so, you know. And then she went to, you know, talking about my little net um, nephew. Uh, he's on a computer, you know. He's one years old, and how he be pronouncing the words, you know, in the little alphabet, um, you know, um, apple, and you know all that. I'm like, well, okay, a one year old can do that. You trying to tell me you can't say yaha? But she wasn't even trying. She wasn't trying to hear. It. You know, but like I said, when it dawned on me, I'm like, you know, like, well, damn, I mean, if you had a job, every job you'd have never went to, I bet you knew your boss name. And, and the crazy part is, my, <laughs> my mom's name, you know, I'm not sure what it what it means, but you know, it's Barbara, Barbara. I broke it down like that. I said, <laughs> your name is Barbara. You can't say ya, ha, wa. <laughs> so I just gave up, man. I was like, your name is is even just as hard. I mean, if you want to put it that way. But I've come across people where you know I tell them the name, and they'll say it verbatim right back to me, like it's like it just comes to them natural. I say, yeah, the true name of the father is Yahweh. He like Yahweh. I say, yeah, damn, you said it perfectly. True name of the son is Yahweh Shai. They'll say Yahweh Shai. Yeah, you said that perfectly. But you know, hey man, it's it's important to know those names, man. We can't stress it enough. That's one of the main things that you know been been really been going, you know, said or has been going into in lessons because you got some damn demons out here that you know these you, antichrist basically they're anti Mashiach. They're anti the Lord. They out here fronting as if they love the Lord. You know what I'm saying? They you know everything coming off rolling off their lips is sweet, but when it straight comes down to it, they straight don't believe. They don't believe in Yahweh Shai. They don't believe in I'm um, the Father Yahweh. So it's gonna be a lot of our people that are gonna be destroyed, man, with that attitude. So, you know, I just wanted to just touch on that real quick. I didn't want to do a long, long lesson. I was on um, because I'm at the plantation right now anyway. Kind of was on a road, about to pretty much take it in um, to my destination here. And that conversation just dawned on me, you know, because they are, you know, uh, they do have a a, a zeal. For Yahweh. But I'm like, you know, you you know, you're praying, you know, you got all these ailments that's going on, you know, things that that can help you. You know, to um with your dietary, you know, the dietary law and you know, um, and just straight plain prayer, man, to Yahweh about Shimia was for healing. You know, the Lord will heal you, he'll get you what you need to get healed. He'll send somebody to 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 to, to, to send you a rem a remedy like it's nothing. If, if it's something simple as far as like, you know, something with the dietary law that can help you out or just in general, you, you'll wake up and be like, well, dang, you know what? You'll be done forgot about it. Dang, you know, I don't even, 
my arm don't hurt no more. Or, you know, my leg, you know, whatever. And dang, you know what? I just thought about it. You know, sometimes you'll just forget about it. It happens to me. I'm like, you know, like, dang, I, you know, I just noticed that, you know, the Lord didn't answer that prayer. So the water, yeah, how about see me outside, man? But, you know, like I said, again, a lot of people not going to get it. And they're going to find out the hard way. And, you know, of course, they're my, my parents. You know what I'm saying? I love my parents, man. But they, you know. They not, they not, they not gonna, they not getting it on that end. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it's just, hey, it's just, it is what it is. You know, our lots, our lots. We're just gonna have to just bear the grunt of it, man. You know what I'm saying? We don't want anything to happen to them. We don't want any of our peoples or our family members to experience what's to come. But a lot of them are. You know, and we're praying to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh for mercy, man. So just be thankful that He has looked out for you. I mean, you continue praying for your family. But generally, you know, after a certain amount of time, after explaining the truth to people, you know, three, four times, five times, you know, you're just having this conversation with them all the time. They're generally not going to get it, man. So, you know, there's nothing to be mad about. You can't make them get it because the Lord is the one that wakes up the elect of Israel, man. You know, so and we're just praying that, hey, he doesn't put us back to sleep after being awakened. So, again, I'm at my, you know, pretty much at my destination. So with that, hey, I pray that the, the lesson was edifying. Kwame Shalom. Bible ball.